Hi there, fellow students of philosophy. Have you ever pondered the precise requirements for intelligence? Smart means different things to different people. Contrary to popular belief, intelligence is not correlated with a high IQ or multilingualism. There are various intellect levels. It combines information, emotional intelligence, cognitive ability, and decision-making prowess. We'll discuss a few unfake indicators of true intellect in today's video. Is a hint of curiosity? Does the list include solitude? Is the ability to grow from your mistakes a sign of great intelligence? We'll discuss all of this and more. Relax. Not thinking you're intelligent. One notable indication of true intellect is the refusal to accept your own intelligence. Though it could come seem as modest, those who are unaware of their intelligence possess a remarkable amount of intelligence. This indicates that you are intelligent enough to be aware of your limits. The Dunning-Kruger effect is the name given to this phenomenon. Psychologists claim that this effect indicates that intelligent people tend to undervalue themselves, while less competent people routinely brag about their abilities. Additionally, you're more likely to surround yourself with people who can assist you in overcoming your constraints when you are aware of them. This makes you more intelligent by increasing your drive to study. Stop, that seems interesting. And here's the thing, having an open mind is a major indicator of intelligence. Relax. People with intelligence are open to new concepts. They tolerate different approaches. Research indicates that highly intelligent people are receptive to the opinions of others and delay establishing their own opinions until they have heard different viewpoints. They don't accept things as they are. The study also discovered that those with an open mind are less susceptible to manipulation. They don't rely as much on the opinions of others because they are highly secure in their own convictions. That's not all. Pause. Seeing. If you're smart, you enjoy making observations about things. Do people find it admirable that you can recall minute details? Apparently, being aware of your environment indicates intelligence. It's not necessary to be Sherlock Holmes to notice what's going on in your surroundings. Smart people make better decisions by using their ability to observe. This can facilitate improved interpersonal communication. Success in both your personal and professional life is inevitable. You may be shocked to hear that your capacity to observe and recall information is connected to several different types of intelligence. For example, verbal linguistic intelligence is linked to the ability to remember what you read or hear, whereas naturalist intelligence is tied to the capacity to identify patterns or changes in the natural world. Relax. Are you curious to learn more? This is how a sensible. A sense of humor is an indication of intellect. Pause. Both emotional and logical thinking skills are necessary for processing and creating humor. Numerous researches have found a connection between intelligence and humor. People who find comedy funny, particularly those who enjoy dark humor, have been found to have higher IQs. People that are funny tend to be more intelligent both verbally and non-verbally. They are also quite popular in various social groups due to their lively personalities. They are very alluring to the other sex because of their innate sense of humor. A strong sense of humor is also linked to mental clarity and well-being. Professional cartoonists and comedians have been found to have higher verbal IQs. The next time you're with the wittiest person in your company, observe their body language and strike up a discussion. You can discover a great deal about their character. Pause. You're undoubtedly quite intelligent if you're a night owl. Relax. We are all aware of the connection between being lazy and staying up late at night. Nevertheless, this is untrue. Highly intelligent people work mostly at night and sleep in the next morning. According to a survey, most intelligent people enjoy staying up late on both weekdays and weekends. Therefore, you might be smarter than you realized if you're lazy. Researchers have found a connection between IQ and sleeping patterns. Their research indicates that those who are busier during the full moon are typically more intelligent. It appears that night owls remain awake for extended periods of time during the day. Additionally, those who work through the night are more likely to generate creative ideas. Stop. What additional indications of genuine intelligence are there? Restraint. Is self-control related to anything? Pause. Intelligent people exhibit higher levels of restraint. They are able to control their inclinations and suppress their feelings. Before deciding, they also think about the consequences of their choices. This is so because intelligence is necessary for self-control. 
You must be able to distinguish between right and wrong. Intelligence and self-control enable you to make the proper decisions. An experiment demonstrated that those with greater self-control performed better on tests and had a higher success rate. A trait that is often overlooked as a sign of intelligence is self-control. You can use willpower or speak aloud to yourself to practice. Pause. You might be startled to hear that you're probably very smart if you value solitude. Pause. You are a genuine intelligent person if you find solitude enjoyable. Research indicates that there is a real link between intelligence and being by yourself. You can think, concentrate, and make plans during your alone time. It will also assist you in keeping your composure. Have you ever seen someone who seems unhappy with their friends? Higher IQ individuals have been shown in studies to be significantly less happy when they spend time with friends. This may give rise to the misconception that bright individuals in general detest social interaction. This is untrue. They are able to process their thoughts a little more effectively when they are by themselves than when they are among other people. It helps them come up with fresh ideas and resolve any problems they might be having. Stop. Are you an inquisitive feline? Inquisitiveness. Congratulations. You may be quite intelligent. Relax. Individuals with a strong sense of curiosity in the world around them are frequently far wiser than we realize. If you're like this, you spend hours searching the internet for fresh knowledge, disassemble objects to learn how they function, or ask inquiries to find the answer to a problem. You never stop learning. You might even end up becoming an authority on a strange subject, like a certain historical occasion. However, being intelligent is more than just having a vast knowledge base. The want to learn more is a sign of true intelligence. To study, you must be somewhat fascinated by the outside world. Research indicates that how you spend your time and energy has a significant impact on how intelligent you become. Additionally, studies reveal that kids with high IQs are more interested in learning and open to new concepts. Do you recall all the instances when your parents urged you to concentrate on your academic work? It appears that they were aware of information that you were not. Stop. Interesting? Huh? Here's what else. You're probably fairly intelligent if you can figure out a simple answer to a complex problem. Pause. One of the main traits of intelligence is thought to be the capacity for simplification and problem solving. Solving problems is an indication of great intelligence if it comes naturally to you. This includes resolving a problem at work or determining what's wrong with a wrecked car. Employees who take the effort to solve issues rather than just report them are usually valued by their employers. Your company values the extra effort you put in for it. These individuals frequently get promoted to higher paying roles. In addition, truly intelligent people have the ability to see past difficult circumstances, pinpoint the source of the issue, and help others work out their differences. Astute people don't hog the conversation, instead, they intervene when necessary. They don't linger on unnecessary details. Spend a moment listening to someone you know who solves problems in this way. It will enhance your capacity to resolve problems on your own. Stop. Messy. It's true that neat individuals aren't always smart. Pause. Do you envision a tidy and well-organized person when you think of someone who is intelligent? Should the response be affirmative, you must dispel your preconceptions. Messy people are geniuses. I'm not making this up. Research substantiates this. An organized workspace is indicative of a sharp intellect. These folks are so preoccupied with other things that they neglect to tidy their workstations. Even if everything seems unorganized, they can quickly locate anything since they know where everything is. Therefore, don't bother if your coworkers make fun of your messy desk the next time. Also, messy people are typically more imaginative. They neglect to clean up because they are too preoccupied with realizing their ideals. Some of them don't even consider it important. If you fall into this category, Make an effort to remember to sometimes tidy your area. To yourself, you owe it. Relax. Simply said, intelligent people worry a lot. Concerned, stop, sounds foolish? However, that is accurate. Being worried is essentially bracing oneself for the worst case scenario. Individuals with anxiety disorders worry a lot, oftentimes over extremely unlikely events. Are you wondering what the point of all that anxiety is? Well, Putting the drawbacks aside, it might allude to a higher order of reasoning. Research indicates a direct relationship between anxiety and IQ. According to this, 
Those with high IQs worry more than average individuals. Please give me a moment to explain. People with high levels of education and intelligence worry more because they are aware of a wider range of possible hazards. They wish to be ready for any eventuality. Their fear may cause them to come up with original approaches to solving problems or staying out of trouble. Although anxiety is sometimes seen negatively, its primary purpose is to assist in recognizing and reacting to danger. It consistently keeps your mind active. Pause. Now, don't get me wrong. Being without these qualities doesn't make someone less intelligent. These are but a few of the primary indicators. The discussion surrounding intelligence is quite intricate. Shall we continue the topic with a few more videos? View our video about the zodiac sign that is the smartest. Alternatively, how about the top 9 foods that improve memory and brain function? Feel free to click one. Better yet, watch both to discover more about how intelligent you are and how your brain works. Do you possess any of these qualities? Do you know somebody who is highly intelligent? Tell us in the comments section below.